Antibiotics for ear infections. More than 75% of children have had an ear infection by the time they're five. Antibiotics have been the routine treatment, but new research suggests they may not be the best medicine. Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us what every parent needs to know. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So what is the best medicine? Well, new research is really pointing in the direction that the best medicine might be no medicine at all. So it requires a lot of patience on the part of both the doctor and the parents to let it run its course. In fact, most ear infections are caused by viruses, which don't get treated with mm. antibiotics, but most will get better on their own. Parents, did you hear that? Because most yeah. of us insist to our doctor, my kid has an ear infection, I want an antibiotic. Is there any child with an ear infection who should get an antibiotic? Well, what the pediatricians normally say is children under two should be treated promptly with antibiotics if they have a high fever over 102 degrees, if they have any fluid or leakage coming from the ears, or if they have both ears involved, a double ear infection, or if they're getting worse over a period of time of 48 to 72 hours, not better, then you want to bring out the antibiotics. Until that time, things like Motrin or Advil, just to help help them stay comfortable is really the best thing. A lot of parents insist on antibiotics. Are there possible downsides to taking them? Especially with children, about 10 to 20 percent of kids can have side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and also resistance. So the less we use antibiotics, the better. And when you're talking about ear infections, let them get better on their own. All right. That won't be easy. No, it won't put up be. with the crying. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Jen. You